Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace, and I have decided that I'm going to talk about topics that, instead of talking about really big topics, I'm going to talk about, like more of the everyday, go back to that, that's what I used to do. Let's talk about the little, you know, day-to-day -day little frustrations, and some people might call them petty, but no, it's not always petty. I mean, it might be small in what it is, but it's the... Instead, think of what was the purpose behind that? Was the person doing it to you or the person doing it to anybody? That's just how they are, whatever. What is the purpose? The purpose, yeah, can be much, much, much deeper. Yeah, much, much, much more all around. Like, um, but if I put this on a channel, I've never talked about bigger topics. You'll know that I used to, I was talking about bigger topics. <laughs> I say bigger, but yeah, they're more like you might see on TV. Anyway, <laughs> the reason I'm doing it is because I haven't, this bigger topics, I uh, had a whole bunch of stuff that happened all at once, and my brain felt, felt really overloaded. I was overwhelmed, in other words. But it felt like overloaded. <laughs> Seriously, like I had way too much in there, and I was making videos right and left just to try to sort through it, which I'm glad I did because I did sort through a lot of it, and I would put them on a, a private channel just for, you know, just for me, and, uh, but anyway, the, 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 one of the things that I would call, in comparison, Lester, was what just happened, I just went to a grocery store. And in the grocery stores, I, I jokingly call where I live, uh, not where I live, but this, but certain areas, it's, it's non, it's a, it is a fictional, boy, can I get this out, a fictional something I call Narcissismville, <laughs> okay, seriously, Narcissismville, because so many people think it's all about them, you know, everybody should glorify them or whatever, whatever, I mean, in narcissism, a lot of people pack, pack a whole bunch of stuff underneath it. That shouldn't be, and I don't want to do that, so, but, um, I just jokingly call it that, because a lot of people understand that narcissism, you know, when people are, some people think it's always about when somebody's self-centered, but anyway, um, I just, what just happened, my, my voice is going out, so, yeah, it's always going out, but, um, I went to the store, and I'm walking, you know, just, just walking, you know, through the aisles, and I was heading toward the restroom because I take two diuretics a day, 12 hours apart, it's 60 years old. Yeah, I was heading toward the restroom because I'd been driving for a bit. And uh, so I got there. Well, I didn't get there. I was about to turn the corner and there was a, it was a guy, you know how like the, um, say in the aisle, I don't know, you know I, do, I use whenever I'm in a store, I think in terms of, uh, you know, like, like your driving, driving rules, okay? You know, you stay on your side, and the other person stays on their side, and they come in that way, they you know, down that aisle this way, and you're going the other way. This guy broke all the rules. It was a big guy. And, uh, yeah. And he, instead, he was on the wrong side of the road. Let's just put it that way. He must have thought he was in London or something. <laughs> or England. I mean, in England. Wherever. A lot of places there. Different countries drive on the other side of the road. They say we drive on the wrong side of the road. But anyway, you get the gist. And he was the one that was closest to me. I was trying to get out of the aisle. And he saw me. He looked right at me as he was you know, going perpendicular to me. Not, not parallel. Um, so he saw me trying to get out of that aisle. So he slowed down his little saunter. <laughs> his swag. <laughs> Do they call that swag the way they walk? Some people, some guys walk. That's the like, females they call it. I mean females. They call it a what is it? Saunter? What is the other one? Sachet. There you go. What is a male version of sat sachet? <laughs> anyway, he slowed it down. I am serious, because he saw me there, and he was going to walk in front of me as slow as possible, past me, so I can't get out of that aisle. And I'm thinking, now I have no filter anymore. 
I'm happy about that. Uh, I really don't use a filter much, you know, just not say stuff, I say stuff. Uh huh, you bet. And uh, I think there needs to be a, a lot more people grandma aged, like me, you know, grandma aged, that uh, have lost their filter and they, they remind people there are things called manners. I would not suggest to anybody do this. I'm a big gentle giant of a woman and I've never really been physically scared of people. And that's, yeah. You know, my definition of bravery is doing something stupid and getting away with it. <laughs> so I'm talking about myself there. Uh, yeah, just because I'm just a strong body and still I'm 60, you know. Yeah, it's not so smart. Even with a genius IQ, I do stupid things at times, you know, like I'm not scared of people. That's just kind of not smart. I'm kind of I'm kind of distracted because this road I haven't been on in like maybe a month or so. Well, no, it was probably just recently. And all of a sudden now they have a whole lot of these big things. I have no idea where they are. Are they going to be making a double stack on here? I'm like to make the road double stack. What do they call it? You have one road over the other one. It's weird. All of a sudden a whole bunch of stuff. This is very wealthy area, so you never know. Anyway, I'm driving, in case I put a... Oh yeah, you, you had to go faster than speed limit get in front of me. Wait, no, I'll see you. I pass you at the light. <laughs> I do. It's so often that happens. Narcissism will. When I pass you at the light, I wave as I pass them by. <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I don't like that. Anyway, um, so, yeah, the guy was doing a swag or whatever. Uh, swaggering, maybe. Or swag the way they talk. You know, different, I'm saying they as in men. You know, they have their swag or whatever. I really don't know if those, I could be using them wrong, definitely. Could be using those wrong. But any man, no. Anyway, he was a big, like, really strong body man, too. So you would think, you know, Grace, um, watch your mouth. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but, you yeah. know. So I said, oh, you know, he, he was doing that. I said, I can do that too. So I, I, you know, as he passed, I got out. Well, he was on the wrong side of the road, like I said. So I got on the right side of the road. Th those lanes, that, that, that side was not that big. And uh, I, I walk really fast as it is. And so I started walking, walking, walking. And what was he going to do, hit me? <laughs> and I says, I think I may have said it again too. You can play that game. I'm just weird like this sometimes, seriously. Which I kind of like this side of me because it's been too much of my life. This is who I really am. This is how I really am. <clears throat> People would uh, say I'm a little bit on the impish side. <laughs> I used to be really witty. I used to be. I don't know about now. But, uh, but just things that I, I think I tend to do things that other about it, but he so this big guy, and what is he going to do? <laughs> Definitely is not going to attack a 60-year-old woman in a grocery store, you know. Yeah, he, that might be found upon. But you never know. That's why I was to say, don't listen to me. Because I think bravery, you know, bravery is often doing something stupid and getting away with it. This would be my something stupid. One of. Yeah, but, I mean, I've never done this one before. Uh, but this kind of thing. So anyway. So I, I'm, I'm walking really fast because I usually walk really fast. And I pass him. And he, he was putting him stick at the time when he could tell that I was behind him. Because I said stuff, you know. And that I was beside, about getting beside him. He tried to get in the middle. Nope, I don't care. You don't run over me. <laughs> it's just me. So I just kept walking fast and he, he, he had to stop himself from pulling you know, his thing in front of me because, yeah, that would be quite an embarrassment for him to be hitting, you know, a woman, 60-year-old woman with his cart so he can dominate. Like I said, little bitty things have bigger purposes. You're not going to dominate me. Got it? You're not my boss. You're not going to tell me what I can and can't do. You're not going to slow down in front of me. <laughs> your superiority or whatever it was. I'm just 
guess I'm just saying things. I, I could be wrong on all of those. It's not really how I feel. I just think, well, in a way, I think that he wanted to show that he owns the road. <laughs> I see that quite a bit. Even in stores. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm almost home. And yeah, it's about time I have to eat today. I don't know that I've eaten. My, my glucose is high because last night, I, uh, when I went to take my last bit of insulin, they had me taking three a day. It splits it up and you know, different. And um, there's a bunch of stuff going on and something distracted me. And I came back and I said, oh crap, did I actually take it? Yeah, I write it down every day. Or did I, um, or was I about to take it? But what I do is I always write it down after I complete the whole thing, I write the time, date, you know, well, it's already, I don't have a date, and just put where I put it on my, uh, you know, where I inject it, and, uh, like I put, today is what day, Tuesday, uh, where I inject it, what side, what, where, where on that side, just, you know, brief, really brief, one little line on a note card, a note pad, I keep them on, and, you know, things like that. And, uh, how many units? Because I take three times a day, I take three different units. The amounts of units. This is what the endocrinologist told me to do. And, uh, so anyway, I make sure I have it, and I don't put on the, put it on there what time until I'm finished. Okay, that, that way I won't screw up. Well, you know, nothing is perfect. The best laid, best late plans. I've been doing this for two years. And yeah, you know, eventually I was going to screw up. <laughs> this month is two years. So, and I did. I got distracted with something and wrote the time down. And, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, that's, that's how it went. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't take it yet. But I even put the needle in the, packed it all up and everything. So, it was just a the momentary right then at the wrong, wrong time distraction. And right then. And I take three times a day. I mean, that's a lot. You have know, some people that, most people I think take it one or two times. I don't know. That's what I've heard. I, I am not an expert on anything medical. Don't listen to me. I am not no voice. I'm not a voice of authority. So anyway. So today it's high. I, well, when I did take it, I just took a little, there's a crow chasing a squirrel. <laughs> I thought it was another bird, but no, a crow chasing a squirrel over here. Okay, you meanie. But, um, anyway, so my, my glucose is high. Then I didn't want to wake up this morning so early as I usually do to take it. So I was late on it this morning, although I took three units more. Uh, not, I shouldn't say units because the one I take it's very different than the other ones and uh, as it is so that's a lot for some people that would be way too much way 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 so at least as, as far as I know as far as what I've heard don't listen to what units I said but um it, what, it, for me it wouldn't be that much more so you know I could adjust this anyway because of what and with the way she said it, that endocrinologist told me to take it. It was January, I think. And uh, it was my first time to have to do those and, you know, just weigh it, see how it works and all that. And I've even spoken to the pharmacist, so. And I always, and I, I trust the pharmacist personally. I'm not saying anybody else should. I trust the pharmacist. But yeah, I really do. I've, I've not really had a bad pharmacist. I've had ones with bad attitudes, but really when it comes to, you know, what they do, yeah. <sighs> anyway. But so, so today, mine is a little off my glucose, and maybe that's when I'm a little off. <laughs> He's getting in front of me and thinks he's going to all of a sudden stop and just go real slow, make sure I can't get out as soon as I could. I was on my way to the restroom, remember? Two diuretics a day. <laughs> Just move aside. <laughs> that would be narcissistic. And I thought he must. No, but the fact was he slowed down purposefully. Okay. He was on, you know, 
He had his purpose, and that was to show something. Whatever he thought he was going to prove, he was going to prove, failed. Failed. Anyway, wrap it up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.